going to use this as a mirror now. Oh no. There's going to be a lot of videos now with me dressed like this, sitting here at the same daylight thingy. I can't even be bothered to pretend it's a different day, so I'm just going to keep wearing the same shirt. I thought I would talk to you about this book today, The Suicide Shop by Sean Toulet, and I never forget and uh, remember his name, so um, yes, I'm going to sit like this, going, Sean, Sean, Sean. The premise of this book is there's a family uh, who are all horribly depressed, and they um, sell items for people to kill themselves with. Um, it is a black comedy, it says on the back. Um, and the entire family is, um, there's a mother and a father and three kids. And they always talk shit about each other and, um, well, they can't, the only reason they don't commit suicide themselves is because they have to keep running the shop. I like the premise for this book, I've never heard of it before, so I bought it, and I do like a good black comedy. But for it to be good, it has to be well written and the punchlines have to be funny. My first point with this is translation. I don't think this has been translated very well. And it says at the front that the translator, Sue Dyson, has been translating books for about 20 years. And she's known as the best-selling novelist, Zoe Barnes. Well, I've never heard of Sue Dyson, nor Zoe Barnes. And for being a translator for 20 years, she should be able to do better, because this kind of sucks. I don't know, I might be harsh now, it might actually be that the original text isn't that good, but I don't think so. I There's so many sentences that are phrased wrongly, and not in the dialogue. Because in a dialogue it can be a way for the author to convey something, um, but it's in everything else as well. For the writing in general, I don't like it. It's like it can't make up its mind. Who's the teller? No one knows, really. And what what is what's the point they're trying to come across with this book i don't know i still don't know when i read it it's supposed to be humor like black comedy because the theme of the book is so sad and awful it has to be funny and it has to <laughs> the black the black comedy has to really hit the punches and it doesn't i didn't laugh once i might be strict when it comes to comedy but I do like almost everything, and black comedy is amazing. If it's well done, we need that. But this wasn't funny, and the twists and turns, it's like, it changed mine a lot, and it wasn't well done. Now, don't get me wrong, it's an alright book, but I'm disappointed. I think that's why I'm so harsh, because I was disappointed. It was in a comedy section of Black Wolf. It seems like he's trying a bit too hard. And I think I figured out why. Sean Dulay is a screenwriter, was it? Filmmaker. It might, it, that might, that can mean a lot of things. And I think that is portrayed in the book as well, because it seems more as a story that would be good on film, but not in a book. I think it would be a perfectly nice film, but as a book it falls through. Have you read it? And um, did you like it? I saw a uh, Goodreads that it has 4 out of 5 stars. I gave it 2. If you have anything to say about the suicide shop, let me know down below. Have you read it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Have you read anything else by Sean Toulet? Or is this the first I've heard of him? Have you seen any of the films he's been working on? So yeah, that was, that was a book. Oh no, I lost it.